you so much for joining Business Essentials with the San Mateo Area Chamber of Commerce. We're lucky today to have both uh, co-founders of Confidence Systems with us, Leo Rocco, the CEO, and Rob Della Santina with uh, the CEO. And the title of their presentation is Reset 2021 with Confidence to Thrive in the New Year how to drive business consistency to instill confidence in your customers. And I'm gonna let them take it away. You can use the chat to put in your uh, questions and we'll get to them towards the end. I am recording this for our Chamber YouTube channel so we can look at it afterwards. Take it away, gentlemen. Great, well, thank you very much. Uh, very nice to meet all of you. And certainly we'd love to keep uh, this casual. Uh, so if there are questions that come up, we certainly want to uh, help support uh, and more importantly, support the San Mateo community. Uh, myself uh, and Leo have been uh, diligently talking to the San Mateo community for quite some time. And uh, we really wanna make an investment and help support the community, help really help drive uh, a new reset into 2021. Um, my name is Rob Della Santina. I'm the co-founder and COO, uh, and I've been in the software industry for nearly 25 years, working for the likes of Salesforce and Adobe, among others. Leo, why don't I have you introduce yourself while I bring up um, a little bit of our deck while we share with the rest of the group? Sure. sure. Hello there, everyone. Uh, so I'm Leo Rocco. I'm the um, um, founder of uh, Confidence Systems. And um, you know a, a little bit about my background. Have you ever ordered a coffee with your cell phone? at Starbucks. Awesome. So um, I invented that technology uh, in 2009. And uh, JP Morgan invested in my company. And then we uh, ended up doing a deal with Starbucks. Um, and we were version one and, uh, and version 1.5 of that technology for Starbucks. And we rolled it out to initially it was 80 Starbucks locations across the country. So that was my uh, um, big introduction into uh, uh, mobile ordering, mobile payments. We were the first, uh, sold the company to Amazon and, uh, um, and really just started to go ahead and, and, and participate in, in other various factors in helping businesses thrive, uh, specifically software-based businesses. But what drove me to um, really uh, you know, confidence and confidence systems was that you know, what I found was that it's tough to be consistent as a business. It's tough to, number one, get organized, see what you gotta get done every day, and then collaborate with your teammates on making sure that, number one, what they're doing is you know, working on, on, on items that are driven by the business, uh, but also um, they're doing it and doing it right. So as you assign something, I'm sure we've all had this issue with, you know, you've told someone to do something, hopefully it gets done, in some way, shape, or form, or oftentimes it doesn't get done, you know? And uh, they tell you it's done, but it's not done. You find out it's not done. And then also it's not done right. So Confidence Systems is about solving that problem. It's about solving the problem of getting work done, helping getting work done, and most importantly, doing it right. And it's all based on AI, artificial intelligence. But the, the AI, it's not like you know the movie Terminator. <laughs> this is AI behind the scenes. This is AI that helps drive and score work. Um, the idea here is uh, imagine a checklist that's like on steroids, right? Um, you know, so that's kind of what we have and what we're doing. And it's it's a lot more than that, but in, in its most simplistic form, that's what it does. Thank you, Leo. Uh, hopefully, everybody can see my screen. Uh, and please feel free, since I can't see anybody on the other line, if there's something that comes up, please feel free to, to jump in and we'll make sure we address any questions as we go through this. As Leo mentioned, uh, really the simplistic way of describing what confidence does is we help people get work done and done right consistently. And so uh, what that essentially means is there are times in your businesses uh, that you are looking to make sure that uh, something is accomplished, but challenges arise because it's getting harder and harder to get work done because of whether it's new regulations, whether it might be uh, turnover in staff, whether it may be how do you create high quality standards within your own business itself and ensure that consistency uh, is done and done right over and over and over again. And, and sometimes you have to retrain people to make sure it gets done. So what we found over time 
is that um, more and more consumers in the market are saying that they want to trust brands more and more, and it's becoming more and more important. 70% of those consumers are indicating that it's become more important today than it was in the past. So how do you foster trust? How do you drive some of that transparency and how you're running your business to foster that? We've also seen that 85% of the time, if a customer has had a bad experience with your, your business, they will come back 85% more if they feel that your brand is transparent and trustworthy. And so how do we help you keep that consistency going is one way to help you drive that brand loyalty, that loyalty within itself and get people to come back more consistently. So simply put, some very simple use cases could be your standard operating procedures. It could be something with regards to compliances that you're looking for. Clearly right now, we're in the middle of a pandemic uh, and cleaning and sanitation has been top of mind ha and being able to execute on that and drive trust within the consumers when people get to go back to the businesses or whether they're participating in those businesses. Uh, it could be simply your fire and water safety compliance procedures that you're driving um, or perhaps maybe security procedures. What we've seen also is that sometimes it's not even within the small business that's executing on these particular tasks. And they could be tasks that could be um, ad hoc in nature. It could be a third party that might be driving some of these pieces, but you just wanna ensure that my asset or my supply or a particular protocol was followed in accordance to your guidelines as a business, or perhaps it might've been state, local, or federal guidelines. Uh, often we've seen that sometimes maintenance of equipment comes up. How do we ensure that we're following the right warranty guidelines or perhaps uh, just doing our to-do list for the day, whether it's our own personal list that we're driving towards. Simply put, what, how confidence works is this. You, we have an application that you can download for free um, and you are able to complete all the tasks required. So essentially you create whatever that task may be. That task then can be assigned to somebody, you can schedule it and you can prioritize what that is. Now, Perhaps your task may be something that's a punch list that you need to get done for the day, and it could be used even for personal uh, needs, or it could be a list that you're trying to go through. Or if you have particular protocols that you do over and over again, we can use that as a template within there. Then we have what we call the confidence cloud. What this is, as Leo mentioned, is the artificial intelligence that confirms the authenticity behind what was done. So that, that person that you're assigning to do something, perhaps you wanna be able to say, hey, here's what the expected state is of what I need to get done. So you have a picture of what that is and you wanna ensure that that is maintained of highest quality. So that person executing on it can take a picture of what that task might be. So for example, you may wanna make sure that you're looking to drive uh, maintenance of an oven or perhaps you have compliance within insurance and you wanna take a screenshot of what is done within a compliance that you might have, whether it's ISO 9000 certification or perhaps you're looking at trying to drive uh, water safety procedures. So we actually will score that. We know the date, time, location, and in the pixels itself, what has been done. And then we publish that out in the form of what we call a badge. That badge essentially is a symbol of verification, a symbol of quality that a process was followed and that something was done. That badge then can be displayed in a few different areas. One, it can be displayed in what we call our confidence smart display. So if you wanna be able to provide on premise that you are following a particular COVID-19 guideline, for example, or that something was maintained, we have the ability to be able to publish the status of that location. So whether it's a restroom being cleaned or whether you're trying to ensure that you're providing some transparency as to how you're operating your business on premise, we can provide when it was done, how it was done and where it was done. From there, it could actually be published also to, if you have your own store's mobile app or website, so you can make the people aware of what protocols you're following or how you're running your business. Um, and then the third place is what we call the community of confidence. Think of this as Yelp-like in nature, but instead of it being about people's opinions, 
It's about fact. And what we can provide you is the ability to publish this information to help gain confidence in the community of what you're doing to bring people back. Uh, and they can find information about it. Now, these are all optional ways to be able to publish this information, but the net of it is helping you get work done. So ways we can help you is really quite simple. Um, being able to consistently execute on items clearly helps you um, provide the ability to maintain and reduce costs, drive consistency in your business operations, or perhaps just increase customer loyalty to, around health and safety measures or help them better understand what you're doing um, in your processes. In addition, um, one key piece to any sort of aspect of getting work done is the ability to provide great communication and collaboration. And so what we've done is provided the ability for if somebody, for example, is creating a task or a job that needs to get done and they have it in English, but perhaps their uh, person that is actually executing on that uh, has a primary language of Spanish, it'll automatically and dynamically translate that, that information to Spanish for them to execute on and then bring it back in English for you to review. So we have a round robin way of being able to give you the ability to collaborate and be able to communicate with those and the staff members that you may have. All this, of course, um, is also giving you the ability to reduce any sort of risks and have an audit trail of your operations. So if there are inspections that may come into uh, your restaurant, as an example, or uh, your business, you have information here and visual verification that something has been done and something has been done right. And you are able to refer back to that information. So it simply gives you a really good way to stay compliant and reduce risk. So what we've done in very simple terms is we wanted to help provide uh, the city of San Mateo um, an offer. Uh, and this is through January 30th, uh, we're going to be able to provide not only something near term, but given that we're in the middle of a pandemic and we understand that there's a lot going on right now, there are a lot of distractions uh, and businesses need to still run, that we're going to provide a free trial starting January 30th um, for two years. And we can use this for any use case. We will help you. We will, we will support you. Uh, we'll look at measuring uh, what the value is behind it. Uh, and ultimately give you the ability to uh, look at how you're consistently getting work done. Everybody struggles with this. Uh, afterwards, uh, we will also provide the ability for um, particular pricing on a per user per month basis after two years. Uh, that being said, we will also provide the first unit of that confidence smart display on premise for free. Should you want more, it's $199 a unit. Um, we are the only company out there right now that is visually verifying and helping support get work done. Uh, we think this is an opportunity for businesses to really create consistency and trust within the community. Uh, and we would love to support your businesses over the next two years in particular, uh, free of charge. All you need to do is quite simple. Um, you go to confidencesystems.com slash San Mateo hit the request access button and we will verify your business as a, being part of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and we will do an outreach to you to start scheduling time to review how we can help support your businesses, what use cases might be important to you uh, and work with you uh, diligently to help with that. Leo, would you like to add any additional items? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Rob, I think you hit it on the head there. Um, I mean, again, the, the, the idea here is the solution is, is, is designed to help, right? Help reduce the friction, help with getting work done in a consistent way, whether it's on, in the field, on the phone or, or, or on your computer. Uh, you could take from pictures to screenshots of the screen. Um, there's a number of things, right? But, but again, for me, when I manage my business and my businesses, um, I need peace of mind knowing that things are happening and happening right. The biggest thing is peace of mind. And, and also I need to know that the things that are that matter that can potentially get me in trouble <laughs> because, I'm, because I'm not compliant, I have peace of mind that those things are happening too. So that's why you know um, we invented confidence. That's why confidence exists. It's to bring confidence to yourself, your business and your entire ecosystem. That's it. We're happy to answer any questions that the audience may currently have.
This is Pauline. So feel free to unmute yourselves and ask your questions. There are currently no questions in the chat window. Okay. Hopefully we are very clear. What do you guys think? L Laura, uh, Jewel, what do you think about what we just talked about? Any feedback from you guys? What you have um, explained seems very interesting. I'm very interested. I want to learn more. I'm a very hands-on person. So you talking to me about this is great, but it only goes so far into my brain before I need to kind of physically, you know, utilize it. But I, I mean, I use, utilize other platforms for my sales. I'm in um, events and and work for a, a venue um, and restaurant. So I think that this is right up our alley. Um, but I do want to, I do want to, you know, play with the toy a little bit and see what, what it really, what you guys are really talking about. But I think this is a great idea, you know, to, to, for me to look into. Good. Wonderful. Thank you. How about you, Laura? Yeah, I just want to say thank you. I, I do work for Samaritan House. I, have, I happen to be the chair of the, the chamber as well this year. And um, I want to say thank you for bringing this to the chamber and bringing this opportunity to our city. Um, I'm excited about it. I definitely want to take it back and go through it with my team. I love the mobile access and the mobile checklist. Um, really helpful, especially in the time of a pandemic when most folks are working remotely. Um, so yes, I'm very interested and want to learn more and uh, have my team take a look at this. I think it's going to be very useful. So thank you again. Mahar, how, how about yourself? It is definitely a great concept. I don't know if I particularly can use it. I'm a one man operation and I'm working from home right now. Right. Um, but it's, I could definitely see, I have, I do payroll for small businesses and I have clients uh, who could definitely use that. Uh, so uh, once we have the information, I will uh, share it with them. Because that's great. That well, how about, actually, that, that's very interesting to hear, to hear you say it. So you, you're a one person operation. That's fantastic. A question I have is how do you organize your things for the day? <laughs> very right? good question. <laughs> uh, to do lists. Uh, basically, that's that's my go to. I schedule everything. I use Outlook a lot. Uh, I put everything I need to do in task lists with dates and times so that I don't forget things. Mm -hmm. um, is that is that on you? What do you use? Uh, Google Outlook. or what kind Microsoft of task list do you have? Microsoft Outlook. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Yeah, we were, we, we were also planning an integration with Outlook as well. Um, the nice thing about what we do and what Outlook does not do is a lot of the, the verification. Outlook does not do any verification at all. Um, so when you're collaborating with clients and, you're, and, 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 there, and there's a to-do, right? For, for them to get something done, right? The idea is with us, you can assign them a task and then they can provide you visual verification, screenshot or picture that it was done and done right. In addition, as you collaborate with people you work with, vendors, et cetera, you know, um, sometimes it's an email, response, whatever it may be. But, um, but again, we're, we're trying to also understand the different individuals and how they work, right? And seeing if we can bring them value. So we know a lot of folks that do a lot of to-do lists on paper, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a mess in itself, I, including me. I do that oftentimes as well. <laughs> okay. I find myself, you know, my- uh, I do that quite a bit, but uh, you know. that I have to remember especially if it's gonna happen sometime in the future. Mm -hmm. The only way I could keep track of is uh, putting it somewhere that I will get a reminder or alert. Yeah. And uh, I find it pretty useful. For some reason, I cannot use Google apps. I mean, I use them, but I don't like using them. I like Outlook. I have been an Outlook user forever. Yeah. So that's my primary uh, management of what to do. That's great. That's very good. I yeah, I think the, the nice thing about that, you know, the calendar, because I do the same thing. I'll you know, set a calendar appointment to remind me to follow up with 12 people to do X. The nice thing about this is it comes back to you after they've done it. And if you don't see it done, right. then you can go back and check again, as opposed to having that's a set right. 20 calendar appointment. I really like that idea. That's exactly it, Laura. That, that's exactly it. 
what was the inspiration? What was what was your drive for this platform? Well, a couple of things. So I um, I was part of a group um, that we, we 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 took this company private. Um, it's called First Data. Uh, it was the, it's the largest payments technology company in the in the world, and my my job was to you know fix product and engineering. I'm an engineer, so um, my team was seven thousand people globally. Right. So uh, it was a company on the verge of bankruptcy. Um, so I had to go ahead and fix a platform that was like 25 years old. I didn't know what people were doing globally. I was on the road every year, 275 days out of every year. And I visited 20 countries each year. So and people weren't collaborative. You know, they just were quiet. They just kind of did their own little thing in their own little corner. So um, so I created this methodology called the R5 method. You can go to r5method.org. It's a methodology on product development and collaboration. And then I thought, well, since I built um, a manual sort of process that really does what confidence does today, I thought to myself, after five years of being at that company, because we took them public as well, and we also merged with a larger company, um, I said to myself, why don't, why don't we build a product that can do this. And then the pandemic hits and I'm like, oh my God, here's another great opportunity because people are you know, concerned about what's real. Are people following protocols? I mean, I mean, essentially people's lives are at stake. I mean, listen, during the pandemic, I lost you know, two family members during the pandemic. Wow. So this thing is real. It's not mm -hmm. like it's not real. I, I mean, some people are healthier than others, you know, but this thing is real. So that it was a way, it's a wake up call for us to say, time on a second. I think we need to take things just in general, it's much more seriously, cleaning, sanit sanitation, following through health department guidelines. That's real. Like, listen, I, I, I have family members that work in kitchens and that, that are chefs and et cetera, uh, that, that own restaurants. I, I know it's tough. I get it. You know, and it's not the most glamorous job to be behind the house. But guess what? It's an incredibly important job to make sure dishes are cleaned, places are, 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 are sanitized, you know, protocols are being followed because protocols, they save lives. They save lives. That's why these things exist. So it's following through on them. So the idea is, well, imagine having an easy tool that's with you to make sure you follow protocol, right? And then also to make sure that everyone knows that it was done and done right. So we all have peace of mind. We deserve it. Don't we deserve peace of mind? We deserve peace of mind, Absolutely. you know? So really, I mean, again, not to make that a long-winded story, but that was really the um, whole idea and the whole big reset. I, I wrote a few blogs Rob, you can share that with the group if you'd like. Sure. Um, but um, but it's really it's it's the big reset on resetting the way that mm -hmm. commercially we do business, our personal lives. It's a it's it's kind of it's, it's a it's a big wake up call for everybody. I think yeah. hotels will never operate the same. Mm. I know we're working with all the hotels right now, guys, from Hilton to Wynn to Marriott. We're working with all of them right now, right? San Mateo is the only city, and because just because Rob lives there, <laughs> <laughs> that you guys are getting it free for two years. No yeah. other city is getting it free. That's right. No other city. So we're making an investment. My hope is that you know we we can help you guys out. You guys take advantage of it and 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 tell us what's right and 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 what's wrong with this as well. well. I look forward to I I look forward to this. I'm excited to discuss it with my colleague here who uh, we run the the and and when we are in full operation we have 100 staff members and a very big 40,000 square foot venue. And even during the pandemic, we have been doing what we can, and we are already very diligent in our cleaning practices and et cetera. And Pauline can attest to that personally. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. But this, we also, we hold our staff very accountable. This is serious to us yeah. before the pandemic, just that level of, of everything up here above what everybody else is doing. And so I think that this is a perfect fit for Good. 
our property. So I'm very excited because we have 13 properties around the country. If we can try this out for you guys and for us, and this is a good tool, this may be something that we can, you know, uh, pass along to our other properties. We're growing too. So we're Great. going to have more on the horizons. This is, you know, you're talking a hundred employees per location. I think this is a good opportunity for us to maybe uh, tighten up uh, what we already know we're doing, but to let the community know too, what we're doing and how, how important it is to us. Awesome. That is great. That is great. What we found is that folks that really have already a, a, a pretty tight operation, this is just, this is a slam dunk mm -hmm. for folks that don't it's problematic because it's a mindset change, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. a mindset change. So Right. So, I heard somebody mention the word intrusive recently. So yeah, it's a mindset shift. We have to shift yeah. it. it is. Yeah. And but by the way, and again, we deserve it. It's 2021 now, right? Yeah. I mean, people got to follow through. You have to have peace of mind. You can't not know that stuff's not happening out there. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, by the way, Owners of businesses have to have peace of mind that people are following through. Yeah. You yeah. have to, otherwise you're 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 a nervous wreck. I'm a nervous wreck, right? You know, when you don't know that things are following through, you're like, why do I have to follow up five times, ten times a day? I don't have time. I'd rather spend that time hanging out with my kids than following up, right? Yeah. So or, or if you know, my wife even said. <laughs> Maybe we'll use this to have our kids do our chores. Do their chores more accurately. <laughs> or or she would start adding this to the honeydew list that I have on the weekends. So it's uh it's it's very versatile in the usage here. So yeah, and, um, and, that, and that's really and that's really the idea. It's 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 a platform, an app to help get work done and do it right. We all do the world does work every day. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's you know, cleaning your car to, you know, uh, 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 changing the brakes on the car to, you know, whatever, following whatever other, you know, things that, that, that banks do, et cetera, right? Everyone's got to get work done. Comes down to is, how are you doing it? Are you doing it right? And to make sure that you're doing it in a consistent way, you know, and, and, and by the way, and missing that one step sometimes is detrimental because I hear folks say, well, I do it right every single day. And just this once mm -hmm. I didn't do it right. And as a result, you get sued, <laughs> right? But I do it right every other day. You don't get credit for those other days, unfortunately. You only get, unfortunately, you know, exposed when that one time that it was not done because you let your guard down, right? and then it hurts the business. I've seen it time and time again. We're helping to solve that. We prefer to spend less money on attorneys and more time on employees doing things right. All right, great. Thank you so much. Any more comments? Um, Jimmy, do you have a comment or Michael? Sounds good. Staying. Thank right. you, everybody. Okay, thank well, you, thank you so much. Uh, have a great day. Thanks, Rob and Leah. We'll be in touch. Take care, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.